Majority of the time, when people hear about poultry farming, the first and only thing that comes to their mind is just one aspect of the farming business, which is chicken farming. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel. If you are new here, I help you discover, learn and improve your processes when it comes to business, money, productivity, time management and personal development. If you've not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button, turn on notification so that you know when I release a new video. Most times when people think of going into poultry farming, they focus mainly on just one aspect of poultry business which is chicken farming. There are different types of poultry farming that you can go into that are even sometimes less expensive and less stressful to begin like chicken farming. Today, I'll be sharing with you five different type of poultry farming you can go into and some you can even start at the back of your house. The number one type of poultry farming you can go into is turkey. Turkey are one of the largest bird in the world. They originated from North America over 20 million years ago. Turkeys are raised for meat and egg production. It takes approximately three to five months for turkeys to grow and they can weigh around 3.6 kg to 7.2 kg depending on the species and the type whether male or female and the months in which they are in. Turkeys are being sold most times during Thanksgiving and Christmas. Why? Because most people are used to taking the chicken beds all year long. The amazing thing about raising turkey is that their food sometimes are not expensive. You don't have to actually make dedicated feed for turkeys, but it is advisable to make those dedicated feed for them. Some even use turkeys as securities in their house. The second type of poultry farming that you can go into is quay farming. Quay are mid-sized birds mostly found in Europe, Asia and larger part of Africa. The amazing thing about quay farming is that their meat and eggs are very medicinal and people use it to cure different diseases. The downside to raising quail beds is the fact that you have to be very careful when making their coop because if not careful and you open the door, they can fly as high as you could think of and fly away over time, making you lose your beds on the long run. The third type of poultry farming you can go into is guinea fowl. Guinea fowl is one of the oldest beds in the world. They are raised for both meat and egg production. A guinea fowl lays around 25 to 30 in eggs in a deep. Why most people eat raising guinea fowl is the loud sound they make most times when they are walking past. Amazing fact about guinea fowl is their eggs are thicker than the normal chicken eggs. You don't have to make a dedicated place for you to raise them. They can be raised alongside chicken and also turkey. If you are finding value in this video, do well to show that by clicking on the like button and also click the subscribe button. What type of poultry farming you can go into is the dog farming. They are smaller than cheese and they are mostly aquatic birds. You can raise them on the land, but when you want to raise them, they prefer to stay in a water outside area where there is a lot of water where they can swim. They weigh around 3 kg and above. Their meat is very thicker and so delicious. They are raised for both meat and egg production. Another fun fact about duck farming is the fact that their feathers are a source of money as well. The number five type of poultry farming, which is the most common type of poultry farming people go into, is chicken rearing. Chicken farming is one of the most common and the most lucrative type of poultry farming. There are different aspects of chicken farming you can go into, layers, boilers, noilers, and even cockerel. There are different ways you can make money from chicken farming. For layers and beds, they are raised specifically for egg production and at the end of their production year, we are being sold for meats. For boilers, they are raised mainly for meat production. Likewise, 
noilers and cockroach. Noilers can also lay eggs but it takes longer for them to produce. You can start making money from chicken farming as early as six weeks if you are raising them for meat. You sell the meat raw to people that want to buy or even process it and put it in the cold room. After hearing the different types of poultry farming you can go into, which other aspects of poultry farming will you be going into? Drop that in the comment section. I have a playlist dedicated for poultry farming. You can check that out here. If you've not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and on notification so that you know when I release a new video. Catch you in my next video.